me. It looks like this McGregor Mayweather fight is gonna happen. It looks like it, man. So can you tell me and your subscribers how big this fight actually is? No problem. Now, financially speaking, this fight will probably be the biggest boxing pay-per-view event ever. But I'm not talking about just the financial uh, aspect of this fight. Throughout boxing history, there have been matches that meant a whole lot more than the competitors in the ring and a whole lot more than uh, boxing itself. Now, these significant matches, it's only a few that I could think of. I did a little research and I was aware of most of these significant bouts and I'll discuss a few. The first significant bout happened back in 1910, July 4th. The first black heavyweight champion, Jack Johnson, fights white challenger James Jeffries. Now, Jeffries was forced out of retirement, and it was his duty to reclaim the belt. Now, the problem that people have with Johnson, obviously, is the fact that he's he's a black man uh, winning a heavyweight championship, but Johnson was cocky as hell. I mean, he had attitude, he had swag, yeah. He was what they would call a, uh, he was a loud nigga <laughs> back in the day, you know, so they was looking for some challenger that could compete and take his belt and bring it back home to white America. And not only did they have problems with uh, Johnson's uh, demeanor and attitude was <laughs> Johnson frequently paraded around with white women. And, you know, this was a no, no back in the early 1900s. But eventually Johnson would win this bout by TKO in the 15th round. Now, this pissed uh white america off i mean this fight led to race riots and lynchings all around u.s cities so this is probably the first what i would call a significant boxing match that was bigger than the sport itself now it took a while for this uh se second significant event which took place june 11th 1982 larry holmes versus jerry cooney hey the great white hope yeah Cooney was considered the great white hope because they had not been a white heavyweight champion since Rocky Marciano back in 1956. Now through no fault of Holmes or Cooney, the media, the promoters made this fight about race. I mean, Cooney was just, in, in his perspective, he was just a challenger that, that wanted to win a heavyweight uh, championship, but the promoters didn't see it that way. The media didn't see it that way. You know, society didn't see it that way. And leading up to this fight, I mean, it was tense as hell. Cooney and Holmes had to have separate uh, press conferences. There was death threats on both sides. And I don't know if this is fake news, but it was rumored that Cooney had a direct line to the White House. But Holmes would eventually win by TKO in round 13. I think it was like uh, round 11 or 12. But in between the rounds, uh, Cooney was, you know, battered and uh his corner man was trying to hype him up so he said hey you gotta win this fight you gotta do this for your country and when he said do this for your country i'm not quite sure but we all can guess <laughs> with pigment that he was talking to the cooney holmes uh matchup was considered the most anticipated sports event ever now it this fight grows more than any other boxing match previously i mean it broke all kinds of records now these two past fights I discussed had a, I mean it was all about a huge racial undertone which elevated this fight to a bigger event than just two people getting in a ring in boxing. Now the McGregor Mayweather fight does not have any racial undertones but not only is Mayweather fighting for himself because he's they're both going to get paid but not only is he fighting for himself but he is actually he's fighting for the sport of boxing. I mean, in a lot of people's opinions, boxing has kind of been on the decline. And you look at the other side, Conor McGregor, you know, the sport of MMA is on a rise. I mean, it's, it's growing as, as boxing is getting smaller. That is what makes this match bigger than McGregor, bigger than Mayweather, bigger than boxing itself. Because Mayweather is defending the honor of the sport of boxing. It's a huge, significant event. Now, Babootney, so what if McGregor wins? Whoa, if McGregor wins this fight, without a doubt, this will be the biggest upset in boxing history. I'm No, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This will be the biggest upset in sports history. Even bigger than Ali Liston. Yeah, bigger than Ali Liston, man. Bigger than Ali Foreman. Because, you know, that was some unbelievable shit. <laughs> yeah, bigger than Ali Foreman. Hmm, let me think, Bootney. 
What about Tyson Douglas? You always told me that that was the biggest upset in boxing history, maybe even in sports history. Uh, that's a good point. But yes, this will be bigger than Tyson versus Douglas. And now that I think about it, there are two events that's that's happened, two major events that's happened that I can remember exactly what I was doing at the very second that the, the event took place. And that's 9-11. And that's when Tyson lost to James Buster Douglas. It was a huge event. But like I said, if Mayweather loses to McGregor, it would definitely be the biggest upset in sports history. Now I'm talking about all sports, not just boxing. I'm talking about football, hockey, shit, ping pong, <laughs> soccer. It doesn't matter. It would be the biggest upset in sports history. Because not only will it be a loss to Mayweather, but it would be a huge loss to boxing itself. And I don't know if boxing can return from a loss like that. So Bootney, so are you saying that this uh, Mayweather-McGregor fight, if Mayweather loses, could be the most significant boxing event ever? Well, the second most significant boxing event ever. Because if you're a boxing fan, you already know. And just to let, let my subs know, without a doubt, the most significant boxing match there ever was, and probably ever will be, was way back in 1938. The rematch between Joe Lewis and German fighter Max Schmeling. This fight united the country. Joe Lewis was not considered a black fighter, but an American fighter. And this fight was a fight against Nazi Germany. Even President Roosevelt is quoted as telling Joe Lewis, we need muscles like yours to defeat Germany. Joe Lewis was known as the boxer to beat Hitler. And in brilliant fashion, he knocked smelling the fuck out. <laughs> All right, guys, I wanted to just give y'all a little history lesson and talk about the significance of the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather matchup. If Mayweather wins, like most people think he will, it would just be possibly the greatest fighter ever to defeat an MMA fighter. But if he loses, <laughs> history shall be made. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Bootney Farnsworth, the commentator, formerly known as the only pugilistic COD commentator in the business.